I would like to, this is a, this is a breaking news announcement. I have a new permanent member of the Five O'Clock Shadow. Um, he is a good friend of mine. You guys may know him. Uh, he's, he, he has been working on, um, he's actually a movie star. He's been in movies with Tom Hanks. Uh, he's been in a lot of sporting events. And now he is here on the Five O'Clock Shadow, a co-host with me, everybody with him. Everybody, please give it up for my friend, Wilson. Yes. Wilson is the co-host of the Five O'Clock Shadow. Wilson, how are you doing? Uh, he said he doesn't like to talk a lot, so we're going to just try to work this out any way we can. But Wilson is definitely uh, your newest co-host. So it's your boy, Trippet, and I, it is the one, two, three, four. Wilson, you're supposed to say five o'clock shot. Well, he's shy, so he might not be ready to do it yet. So we'll uh, maybe we'll get to that uh, later. Texas says almost as handsome as Rich. Almost. He is almost. So I was thinking about changing the name from the Five O'Clock Shadow to the Will and Wilson Show. Yeah, they like it. They like it. Um, well, I really cannot believe I actually went on Amazon and paid ten dollars for a daggone volleyball for a show. I really did. Um, so let's get into uh, some of the headlines we need to talk about. I am very, very uh, disappointed. Uh, in the first story that I'm going to cover, I missed it yesterday. Two uh, black people. Um, D.L. Hughley. Someone who, uh, he's a comedian and I always thought he was funny. I always thought that uh, he had a, a finger on the pulse of what was going on in the country. Like, he always articulated the things that were going on with Black Lives Matter, things that were going on in the, um, in the world. He always, he always did his thing when it came to that. But he seems like he's messed up royally. D.L. Hughley, uh, recently on his Twitter, shortly after the death of Debbie Reynolds, got on Twitter and said, Black mamas don't die because they kids do. Um, it was wildly insensitive insensitive tweet that he made um let me go to the uh, actual tweet he wrote and i quote debbie reynolds died a day after her daughter did black mamas don't die because they kids do they cry and say god don't make no mistakes i have no idea why uh, dl hugley would say that or do something like that but i do agree that it is uh, very insensitive. I am what you would call a troll. I, I do troll because I don't like crybabies. I don't like uh, people who tend to... Um, uh, yeah, thank, thank you. Uh, Wilson, Rich said that you're almost as handsome as him. Do you have anything to say about that? Okay, uh, well, Rich, Rich, uh, uh, Rich, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sure uh, Wilson thanks you. But, um, yeah, so... D.L. Hughley says, Debbie Reynolds died a day, after, a day after her daughter did. Black mamas don't die because they kids do. They cry and say, God, don't make no mistakes. I don't understand what he was trying to say with this tweet. I mean, that, that really requires some uh, elaborating, uh, D.L., and I, I, it really bothers me because he's usually like on the, he's, his radio show, Down South, is huge syndicated and when he usually has something to say I like I'm like rock on like I'm, I'm really with him when he says it but I don't understand the purpose of saying something uh, like that another Twitter uh, person said uh, he, they corrected DL Hughley's tweet by saying Debbie Riddle died a day after her daughter my condolences and then said that's all he should have said and I agree I don't I don't like taking um, I don't like taking someone who just passed away and and making a uh, an issue that doesn't need to be made out of it. Like for example, when uh, Carrie Fisher passed away a couple days ago, before Debbie Reynolds, her mother, um, a lot of people gave uh, Steve Martin crap for 
calling her a beautiful creature and saying she was bright and witty too. And uh, first off, let me just say, if you do have a problem with that, you are a fool and uh, you are annoying me. Yes, you for thinking that there's something wrong with what he said in that statement, you are annoying me. Um, I don't know why D.L. Hughley would say something like this. I really don't. Uh, the way I look at this is he was he's way off. And I'll tell you the reason why he's way off, because he said uh, black mamas don't die. They, uh, they, they cry, and then they say that God is in control. That's just not true. Um, there have been a couple cases of mothers, even uh, who lost their kids to police brutality, that ended up uh, crying and emotional and ended up dying after. Khalif Browder mother died of a broken heart after he was killed so before he uh, said that he should have really uh, checked the tape and made sure that someone or that some somebody didn't lose their life for the same thing his mother passed away due to her losing her son so DL Hughley when you say something dumb like black mothers don't, uh, the black mothers don't die, the kids do, and they just say God is in control. Whatever dumb tweet you said, like, get over yourself. It's not true. Black mothers do care about their children. Want, I really, really hope you come out and say it was a misunderstanding. My tweet, I didn't mean that. I didn't. My tweet didn't mean how it sounded. It was something different. Uh, it's weird that I went from defending Steve Martin on Twitter to uh, really condemning the things you said and. And quite frankly, D.L. Hughley, I was a fan. If you don't come up with a good reason why you said the things that you said, uh, uh, the, the, the phrase former fan will be a description, a description of...